Hello and welcome to Better Body Movement. This class is designed to help you start feeling well. I have less pain, really, literally eliminate that pain. I just feel better. I can tell that my posture is changing. Bright light in the day when we've done our workouts online. Makes me feel so good about myself. Oftentimes, I have clients come to me and say that they feel like they have ribs that are out. This is caused by muscles creating undue tension on the ribs and vertebrae. The first muscles to focus on when we do our work is the latissimus dorsi. This muscle originates from the bottom six thoracic vertebrae to the sacrum, then spans past the lower three to four ribs and inserts in the humerus. Start with a foam roller placed on the thoracic spine. You're going to begin by pressing your elbow up to the ceiling and then dropping down to the floor. I like to imagine holding a tray on my elbows that I'm pushing to the ceiling and then relaxing to the floor. Repeat this for 7 to 10 repetitions and then move on to overhead extension. While on the thoracic spine, starting with your palms towards the knees and arms straight, extend the arms overhead pointing your thumbs towards the floor. To intensify each side, simply roll over onto one side. Try to relax in the tender points. Complete 7 to 10 repetitions with a foam roller in three different parts of the ribs. Now we're going to work the erector spinae and transverso spinalis. These muscles line your vertebrae on both sides. The erector spinae is deep, yet even deeper are the multifidus and semispinalis. The deepest muscles connected to the vertebrae are the rotatories and in the low back, the intertransversarii. Start with two lacrosse balls and place them by the neck. The lacrosse balls should be touching as you begin to roll your body up forcing the lacrosse balls down your spine. Do this slowly. You should only press further if you can fully tolerate your body pressure on top of the lacrosse balls. It could take anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute before that muscle relaxes. Then you can press with the lacrosse balls down a little bit further. You may need to work gradually through this because your muscle will be so tender you can't tolerate all of your body weight's pressure into the lacrosse balls. In order to create a greater release, do not rush this. It should take cumulatively close to 15 minutes to work your way down the entire spine. Oftentimes, I have clients come to me and say that they feel like they have ribs that are out. This is caused by muscles creating undue tension on the ribs and vertebrae. The first muscles to focus on when we do our work is the latissimus dorsi. This muscle originates from the bottom six thoracic vertebrae to the sacrum, then spans past the lower three to four ribs and inserts in the humerus. Start with a foam roller placed on the thoracic spine. You're going to begin by pressing your elbow up to the ceiling and then dropping down to the floor. I like to imagine holding a tray on my elbows that I'm pushing to the ceiling and then relaxing to the floor. Repeat this for seven to 10 repetitions and then move on to overhead extension. While on the thoracic spine, starting with your palms towards the knees and arms straight, extend the arms overhead pointing your thumbs towards the floor. To intensify each side, simply roll over onto one side. Try to relax in the tender points. Complete 7 to 10 repetitions with a foam roller in three different parts of the ribs. 
Now we're going to work the erector spinae and transversal spinalis. These muscles line your vertebrae on both sides. The erector spinae is deep, yet even deeper are the multifidus and semispinalis. The deepest muscles connected to the vertebrae are the rotatories and in the low back, the intertransversarii. Start with two lacrosse balls and place them by the neck. The lacrosse balls should be touching as you begin to roll your body up, forcing the lacrosse balls down your spine. Do this slowly. You should only press further if you can fully tolerate your body pressure on top of the lacrosse balls. It could take anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute before that muscle relaxes. Then you can press with the lacrosse balls down a little bit further. You may need to work gradually through this because your muscle will be so tender you can't tolerate all of your body weight's pressure into the lacrosse balls. In order to create a greater release, do not rush this. It should take cumulatively close to 15 minutes to work your way down the entire spine. that are out. This is caused by muscles creating undue tension on the ribs and vertebrae. The first muscles to focus on when we do our work is the latissimus dorsi. This muscle originates from the bottom six thoracic vertebrae to the sacrum, then spans past the lower three to four ribs and inserts in the humerus. Start with a foam roller placed on the thoracic spine. You're going to begin by pressing your elbow up to the ceiling and then dropping down to the floor. I like to imagine holding a tray on my elbows that I'm pushing to the ceiling and then relaxing to the floor. Repeat this for seven to 10 repetitions and then move on to overhead extension. While on the thoracic spine, Starting with your palms towards the knees and arms straight, extend the arms overhead pointing your thumbs towards the floor. To intensify each side, simply roll over onto one side. Try to relax in the tender points. Complete seven to 10 repetitions with a foam roller in three different parts of the ribs. Now we're going to work the erector spinae and transversal spinalis. These muscles line your vertebrae on both sides. The erector spinae is deep, yet even deeper are the multifidus and semispinalis. The deepest muscles connected to the vertebrae are the rotatories and in the low back, the intertransversarii. Start with two lacrosse balls and place them by the neck. The lacrosse balls should be touching as you begin to roll your body up forcing the lacrosse balls down your spine. Do this slowly. You should only press further if you can fully tolerate your body pressure on top of the lacrosse balls. It could take anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute before that muscle relaxes. Then you can press with the lacrosse balls down a little bit further. You may need to work gradually through this because your muscle will be so tender you can't tolerate all of your body weight's pressure into the lacrosse balls. In order to create a greater release, do not rush this. It should take cumulatively close to 15 minutes to work your way down the entire spine. Right, we are going to get started here today on our workout. So I hope that you are ready to go and get started here uh, this morning. So uh, as always, thank you so much for being here. We are here to help you move well and live well. So we are going to be learning a lot about our body position and the way that we hold ourselves 
as we create movement, okay? So uh, the main thing that we're going to be watching is how do you accomplish that movement with really good high quality form, okay? We don't want to be sacrificing form just to create movement uh, because I've found through years of working through pain and postural issues, it's typically those repetitive movements that we're not thinking about that actually are causing the biggest problem in our lives, okay? So we want to be diligent to think through and uh, have ourselves uh, very aware and keen to understand how we're creating that movement, okay? Um, good morning, Carol. So good to see you on here. Let's see. I Yeah, we had that verse of the day yesterday, so give me one second. See, sometimes this happens. You just know that we're putting it together here. Put a different verse in there. There we go. So we're going to change up our verse of the day and have it ready to go, okay? So uh, we do have I dedicates as well, right? So an I dedicate is simply an intent, inspired action dedicated to an intention greater than yourself. So our inspired action is our workout. Our intention are, is everyone on our prayer list. So Carol, I'll be uh, coming to you at the end here, but Lori's mom is doing dialysis three times a week, so we're praying for her through that. Uh, Ethan has stage four liver and bile duct cancer, so he's a young man uh, with a wife and small children, so just praying for them that they get the most out of the years that he has uh, right now, which has been impressive compared to what uh, his prognosis was early on. Um, my friend's wife was diagnosed with breast cancer and they're treating that naturally. So it seems like that's going really well. Um, so continue to pray for them, uh, that her cancer would continue to subside and disappear. Kira is done with her lymphatic surgery and radiation. And now we're just praying strength over her, but her dad, Jim is not doing very well. He's in a rapid decline after five years of pancreatic cancer. So praying for them through that. And then Jane, uh, praying for her as well. So Carol, if you feel like sharing an update there, let us know how her family's doing, uh, how that transition's gone. And uh, that would be great because we will continue to hold her up uh, so long as we're able to. Uh, our verse of the day, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ, Romans 10, 17. So we continue to hear the word. This is the importance of hearing what Jesus said over and over and over. And uh, just something fun for me, at least, I have been able to, so the Holy Bible app on my phone has an audio version. So I can just, when I wake up in the morning, I throw an earbud in and I just start the Bible uh, during my workouts. I just start the Bible. And so I'm able to just, you know, hear continuously the acts of Jesus Christ and what he did in service for other people. And it so amazes me every time that majority of his ministry was just simply serving people. And sometimes it's so easy to think that our faith is supposed to be just about understanding and having knowledge and spending time in scripture, but yet we don't have um, we don't have that action, that servant heart to go out and just serve people, right? And serve a multitude of people through the Spirit, saying, "Spirit, guide me and help me to just heal uh, and help." others and that's really you know the big call in the, the the command is that that service would in turn create new followers of Jesus because they see the power of what he does so just interesting uh, train of thought again you can agree with me not agree with me disagree uh, it doesn't hurt my feelings at all uh, I just share so that way we are able to communicate openly about it because uh, even if you disagree with me, that's fine. Uh, leave it in the comments, and I would be uh, more than willing to have a conversation. Uh, I don't believe in having arguments, but I do believe in conversations because that's where we learn and grow. Uh, so Jane, uh, they said one to three days uh, are expected for her, and I'm sure that's from hospice. So uh, be praying for the family. That is a very difficult transition. So thank you so much, uh, everyone here, for doing that. And we are going to jump over to our workout. So I want you to get set and ready to go. These are the different tools that you'll need for whoever you end up following along with.
ready. Right, so make sure, right, yeah. as we start our warm ups, we're starting that connection process, right? I want to connect my brain to the muscle tissue, right? So as I go through, you know, these arm circles, I want to also roll my shoulders with them, right? Go backwards now. So the movement's starting from the shoulders, okay? not just the wrists drawing in circles. Okay, big circles forward, open that chest way up, okay? get those shoulders back, up, reach forward, and then again, pull back. So it's about those shoulders going through the range of motion as much as your arms are going through. Okay? Big circles backwards, opening up again, making sure you've got plenty of space to use those shoulder blades, right? Drop those shoulders down and back as hard, you know, as big as you can. Already opening that up. Internal, external rotation, same thing. Inch your shoulder blade down and back as you open, right? Forward as you close, open. About halfway through. And then we can transition into uh, letting the, the shoulders do the work um, in that pinched position, right? So do a few of them now where you hold your shoulders in place without letting them fall forward. See if you can do that, okay? You can add in the march or just do the march. Either way is fine by me. But make sure you do your best through it. Staying, Staying tall, tall and tight, tight through, through it. So I okay. compress that, that core here. here. If, if your, your low back has any sort of issues uh, with the spine, I want, I want you to make sure you're not swinging your, your hips, hips underneath your, your wrists. Wrist. Okay. Okay. The, the pelvis should stay, stay. Just, just the hip, hip joint is what we're trying to do. Okay. 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 Just, just get, get that joint moving inside itself. Don't, don't have, have to, to make, make this huge, huge but you do want to try to challenge, challenge the muscle, muscle a little, little bit. bit. Switch, Switch legs. legs. All, All set up and ready, ready to go. go. Okay, very very good. good. Just started hearing an echo. All right, so we're going to go back to see how that works. But like this, see how that goes. That better, Carol? You know, I might have to go a step up here and actually get like a microphone where maybe we won't echo so much. Get rid of some background noise maybe too. Oh, here you go. This is fun. Got a new cup. And guess who I got it from? <laughs> got it from my mama. Three, two... Okay, here we go. Get ready to row. Okay, rows. Remember, every time we're using our push or pull, we set the shoulders first. Three, two, okay. one, row. Set your shoulders first, right? Down and back. Pull them out of your ears and pinch back. Okay, so down, back. Squeeze hard. This is where that uh, idea of unclipping the bra strap with your shoulder blades comes into play. That's or halfway. think, make orange juice, right? We're gonna pull that shoulder down, right? So if an orange is in your armpit, you're gonna squish that orange and make some orange juice this morning. Hopefully we make enough by the end of today, you can have a nice cup of orange juice. Three, two, one. Transition to chest press. No chocolate milk. That's a whole different action, man. Whole different action. 
And we don't have any brown cows around here. Three, two, one. <laughs> Chest press. So I always thought that was a joke, right? That chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Apparently, there are people who believe that. That chocolate milk just comes out of brown cows. Y yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. That's halfway. It'd be sweet if that's the way it worked. <laughs> I don't know any chocolate uh, chocolate producing cows. <laughs> but, hey. Good, good thought, I guess. I just thought it was three, more to trick like two, three year olds. One. Transition to biceps curl. Oh, well. All right, here we go. Remember, as we go through, see, we try to have fun around here, too. We're not just all serious business. But every Three, single one of these two, movements compress one. that core. Biceps curl. Okay, so yesterday's workout where we did that core compression, got everything really tight, um, forcing it to hold in position. We're doing the same thing today. So if you need to, right, do a little belly whack test. You should be able to hold and brace that tight while something hits into your stomach. Okay. That's halfway. Or you can check with your thumbs on the outside, inside, then do your work, okay? Make sure you switch hands if you're doing that press against, right? Staying nice and tall. Good. All Three, the way through. Two, one. Transition to triceps overhead press. Oh, that's right. We don't switch halfway. So if you're going palm to palm here, push down, press up. Right, all the way through your exercise. Next exercise, Three, switch hands on top. Two, okay. One, triceps overhead. So again, pressing firm. So now in today's exercises, right, we have uh, two types of biceps and triceps. Uh, the first one for biceps is palms together, right? So if you watch the tendon That's at the bottom way. of my bicep, if I change the position of my wrist, it changes the position of that tendon. So that's why we do two different styles, one palms together and then the other thumbs up, right? Pushing down, pulling up all the way through. Okay, but that one's later. Three, so continue in, two, stay tall. One. Transition to fly. Good, okay, get ready for the fly. And again, we're trying to stay tall and tight through the movement, Three, okay? Two. One, fly. So again, you can squeeze to the center of that chest, pecs really tight, core compressed firm. We are even squeezing the butt cheeks together, right? We're thinking a solid base the whole way down, kind of like a statue and just right That's at the way. shoulders. That's where we're generating movement. Again, we do not want to be rolled upward and forward, right? Reaching, we want those Shoulders down and back, that chest in between your elbows. Okay, squeeze that tight all the way through. Three, okay. two, one. Awesome. Transition to pull apart. Pull apart. So you can either do an external rotation here where your elbows and shoulders stay down and back, or you can straight arm pull apart. Three, either one is fine. Two, one, pull apart. So if you're doing external rotations, okay, the big part is, again, get out of that forward rolled position, pulling apart, okay? You need to lead with your shoulders, okay? Lead with the shoulders, pulling down and back, then create That's your halfway. pull through. And again, we're framing that position. So as soon as you get your shoulders down and back, hold them there. Don't let them roll forward as you come forward. Okay, this now is the stance, the position we want to be in through the entire workout. Three, Shoulders down, two, back, down, back, down, back. One. Transition to hammer Good. curl. All right, hammer curls. This is where we go thumbs up. Okay, so one's pressing down, one's pulling up. Or you can grab a towel, try to rip the towel or washcloth in half. Three, two. Again, you can create one. movement with it hammer if you want curls. to create movement, or you can hold isometrically. So Jacob's going through movement, Jenny's going through isometric, whatever you need in order to feel the muscle tissue work, right? And we're connecting again, the brain to the muscle, pull as hard as you can. 
That's why it's nice sometimes to have something like a towel. That's halfway. Because then you're thinking, rip it apart, rip it apart. With all the might that you have, make that muscle work, okay? Because again, challenge brings the change. You can't have change without having a challenge. Three, two, one. Transition to tricep press down. Good. Tricep press downs. Okay, so again, if you're going uh, with the towel, just switch your top hand. If you have a band at home and Three, you're able to do some press downs, two, do some press one. downs. Tricep Connect press down. Okay, so if my bands are on the wall connected, I would just come here. Again, shoulder blades down and back in position. And create a good lock through the elbows, right? Get the backs of the arms really tight. Okay, squeeze, squeeze, That's squeeze, halfway. hard, hard. Halfway through, again, compress that core, squeeze those butt cheeks together. You're clenching a penny right now. Firm squeeze all the way through, all the way through. Okay, doing your best. Three, two, one, rest. Very good. So this is our first long rest. You have 45 seconds. You'll get a countdown three, two, one. That just means get ready. You have 15 more seconds to get ready for the next exercise. We do have three more rounds to go. I want you to continually be thinking through how do I make this more challenging for myself? How do I get more out of That's what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to accomplish, okay? It always filters down through though, right? Form over function. So the form would be, Butt's tight, belly's tight, bra strap is pinched, shoulder blades down and back, creating that tight squeeze all the way down your back. Three, okay. two, one. Get ready to roll. Here we go. Three, two, one. Row. Awesome. Rows. So again, shoulder blades should be pinched down and back. You're trying to keep your elbows tight to your ribs, okay? So I don't want a pull where your elbows come way out to the sides. Pull those down and in tight, okay? If you that's think halfway. scrape your elbows across the top of that hip bone, right? That's what I want, okay? Elbows down into those hip bones, drive them. And we don't have to go far, right? You'll notice I'm not, taking my elbows way behind my shoulders because automatically Three, that's going to roll that two, shoulder forward. One, transition to chest press. Okay, so it's kind of like I'm just hitting a wall and going forward. Now chest press, it's the same exact movement. It's just the pressure is pulling your arms backwards this time Three, right, rather than pulling two, your arms forward. One, chest press. Okay, so again, you can do push-ups on the wall. You can do push-ups on the floor, on your knees. You can go to uh, just normal push-ups on your toes, whatever it is, but your press needs to include a core compression, butt cheeks tight, okay? We're trying to create a strong lever that when we create That's the impulse way. to push, right? It doesn't filter through my back because there's a weakness there. We want to engage and create a tight compression through our lower body. So that way when I push, it automatically transfers the force to Three, whatever I'm pushing, two, right? One, transition to biceps curl. Okay, bicep curls, okay, back to palm to palm. Again, you can go through the movement while you push and pull. Three, the whole two, way through the exercise one, before you switch. Biceps curl. Okay, but hard, firm, firm, firm. Okay. You're thinking again, take that penny, Put it in between your hands. You're trying to crush that penny, or uh, it might work better for you to go wrist on wrist, right, rather than palm to palm, because it, it that's a lot of pressure through the wrist. So if that's we go here, way. you get more of the lever without having to make your hands really work through it. Okay, so that's one way to make it a little bit easier on your hands. Okay, wrist to wrist, push down, pull up. You're going as hard as you can, right? So I'm pulling and simultaneously pushing. Three, you don't want to two, let yourself win. One, transition to triceps overhead Good. press. Okay, switch other hand on top or use your bands to create an overhead press. Again, whatever Three, works two, for you, 
One. Triceps overhead. We want to get the most we possibly can out of the exercise. So make sure you're focused on how do I make that happen? Butt, belly, bra strap. Each one pinch tight. You might remind yourself of that as you continue each exercise. But okay, squeeze the penny That's between the Belly compressed, ready to take a punch to the stomach. Bra strap, right? Unclipping the bra strap with those shoulder blades. Okay, while I'm creating that movement, difficult, right? Very, very difficult. A good compression all Three, the way through. Two, one, transition to fly. Awesome. Flies, again, squeezing to the center of the chest, the pecs, or the chest should be Three, in front of two, your elbows. One. Okay. Fly. Think, lift your chest above your elbows, get your elbows nice and tight. Okay. So we're going to squeeze kind of underneath that and pinch. Or beach ball between the elbows, you're trying to pop the beach ball with all the force that you have. That's halfway. Awesome work. Continue to do your best. Core compressed, shoulders down and back. Good job, Carol. And yes, I am reminding Three, you two, over and over. One. Transition to pull apart. Awesome. Pull aparts. Again, with your pull apart, set your shoulders first. It's always how do I apply Three, the butt, the belly, two, and the bra strap through one, the movements I'm pull performing. Apart. We want to be set in place. And anytime our shoulders are rolled forward, we're creating impedance. It's making it more difficult for our shoulders to operate the way they're supposed to. That's why we continually are training and why I say pinch that bra That's strap, halfway. get them down and back. A lot of pain is relieved when we start building strength in the lats because simply we are so upward and forward rolled, it creates every problem basically from the sternum up through our head. Three. And so if we can just two, train those muscles one. down. Transition to hammer curl. Very good. Carol, I'm glad you love the attention. Awesome, awesome. Here we go again. Three, Rip the towel apart. Two. One, hammer curls. And you don't even have to have a towel for this one. If you want to go thumbs up, right? Push down, pull up. Either way, it's just about the hand position, right? What position is my hand in? Go through that movement, pressing down and pulling up. If you have bands, stay tall, right? As I'm moving That's through this, way. especially with the band, I'm not moving my back and my head with it, trying to get there, we want strong, tall positions. We're thinking of things like laundry baskets. We're thinking uh, heavy pots and pans. I know our crock pot can weigh like 15 pounds by the time we're done cooking food. Three, two, Plenty of weight. one. Transition to tricep press down. Okay, here we go. Tricep press downs. Straighten those elbows and lock. Okay, so it's not enough to just go down. We want to actually Three, lock two, that elbow one. out. Tricep right. press down. Unless you're doing an isometric, obviously if you're pulling against yourself, that's a lot more difficult. Okay, but if you have a band, you're stretching that band through the movement, stick with it. Hey, right? Strong yeah. through it. Good. How are you doing? Elbows straight, tighten the backs of those arms. That's halfway. Good. Awesome work. Squeeze through it. Tall tight, tall tight. Again, your absolute best all the way through. Try not to quit yourself. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. Carol, did you finish all the way through or did you quit early? See, that's why live makes a difference. Check in and see how things are going. Uh, very, very good work. Two rounds down, right? We have two more to go. So make sure every single time, I'll continue to remind you, butt, belly, bra That's strap, make sure those things are really tight, holding firm in place, okay? Get a drink, make sure you're prepping, breathe through this rest, and then we'll get started on the next round.
three, two, one. Get ready to row. Okay, get ready. Set up to go. I want you starting right on time. Two, one, row. Oh, awesome, Carol. So that is a really good reminder. So uh, back when we were uh, pre-COVID and in the facility, we would do this thing where we would change the type of intensity by changing how we move each part of the movement, right? So say there's uh, the back and forward part of the movement, That's right? When way. we roll back, forward. We would change and do like a fast slow or a slow slow, slow fast. So the, the first part of my movement, I might do slow and return and see if I can hold my shoulders in that position still, right? So slow, fast return. Or you might go fast hold and slow return. Transition to chest Fast, then slow. And we would change that through each round. So we would start like slow, slow, then do a fast slow, then a slow fast, then a fast fast at the last round. So if you want to change up three, how you're doing the two, workout, feel free. One. That's the beauty Chest of press. doing a workout like this is, yeah, we might not change the exercise each time we do this particular routine, but there are so many ways you can change the intensity to get more out of it, right? Each part of that aspect, if I'm going fast through one part of the movement and trying to hold, it forces me to think through how do I keep my shoulders That's in place right. even though I'm changing. So awesome work, Carol. I love that. Good, good, good. Remember butt belly bra strap nice and tight through our pushing. This one to me always I think through a shopping cart. Three, and if I'm pushing a shopping two, cart, I don't want to one. arch my back and Transition get Transition to biceps curl. Three, two, one, biceps curl. Okay, here we go. Good pulls, right? Firm, 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 all the way through. I want you to make sure that you're pressing down with all that you possibly have, right? Fight against the movement. Try not to let yourself win. That's halfway. If you're using a single band, this is where you might switch hands at the halfway point. Okay, very good, very good. Doing your best all the way through. Three, two, one. Transition to triceps overhead press. Okay, changing to triceps. Make sure that you do the best you can Three, through the movement. Two, Squeeze one. tight. Triceps overhead. When I first saw her, a black cat crossed my trail. Bad news and high heels made me go off the rails. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Transition to fly. Three, two, one. Fly. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Transition to pull apart. Three, two, one, pull apart.
That's halfway. Three, two, one. Transition to hammer curl. Three, two, one. Hammer curls. That's halfway. Sorry. We had a lot of background noise, so I hit the mute button and then forgot to re-hit it. But stay tall, right? Don't let yourself fall forward. Three, two, one. Transition to tricep press down. Good. All right, tricep press downs. Again, get tall. Tight last one of the third round. Three, okay, we're almost there. Two, one. Tricep press down. Finish through nice and tall. Okay, do not fall forward. Try to stay upright. Pressing those elbows straight. Lock the back of the arm. Lock the back of the arm. Okay, don't just stop at the bottom, right? With a bent elbow. That's halfway. Straighten it. Lock all the way out and then come up. Lock all the way out, then come up. Again, tight squeeze. Butt, belly, bra strap all the way through. Finish out. Doing your absolute best. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome, awesome work. Carol, sticking it out. Getting round four today. Let's get after it, okay? Um, make sure you take a breath. Get a little bit of water. Make sure your hydration is up. I usually try to really hit on that, harp on That's that. Halfway. Regardless, um, hydration is so, so important. Actually, I think I, I've got an idea for a video I want to do, just a short, quick tidbit on hydration. And it goes something like this. Um, have a raw piece of steak in front of me and Three, then have a piece of two, beef one. jerky in Get front of me. I can easily rip the beef jerky, right? But if I grab that raw steak, it's not going to rip regardless of how hard I try, right? Three, Hydration means two, your muscle tissue one. stays healthy. Row. Dehydrated muscle is jerky and it rips, right? So we do not want dehydration anywhere, right? We want to be fully hydrated so your muscle tissue is manipulatable. It's, it's able to stretch and contract. It's able to... Um, go through quick movements, That's slow movements. Uh, it can actually stretch without being torn. That is important, okay? So stay up on that. And I always say half your body weight in ounces, okay? Half your body weight in ounces. So simple math, if you're 150 Three, pounds, 75 two, ounces water one. every single day. Transition minimal. to chest press. All right, here we go into the chest press. Again, do your best. If you wanted to transition how you're doing your exercises, this might be a fast, fast. See if you can maintain Three, the butt, the belly, and the two, bra strap. One, chest press. All the way through, right? Continue to compress. So if you just keep pushing out, right? Getting your push-ups going, hold those shoulders. Don't let them roll forward as you do this. Reset them, push, push, push. Very, very good. That's halfway. Awesome. Halfway. Round four. This should be hard. You should be pretty well worn out, but I want you to focus on your form. This is usually where it begins to fail. Okay. And then we're just focused on, oh, round four. I just got to get the movement. Three, no, you need two, to get the form. One. Transition to awesome. biceps curl. Good. Bicep curls. Again, this is all about palms up, right? It's what we're doing for this kind of training. So again, if you have a band, especially Three, attached to two, the wall, you one. can get your band here. Biceps curl. And squeeze 
underneath, right? That's what we want to focus on for how we're doing the movement. And good, tight squeeze, compress that core. Very good. That's halfway. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. Firm compression, squeeze your butt cheeks together. Stay tall, stay tight. Doing your absolute best all the way through. Three, two, one. Transition to triceps overhead press. Awesome. Triceps overhead press. Again, do your absolute best through it, making sure we get those elbows Three, moving, two, trying to lock one. out if we can. Triceps overhead. Right again, if you're working against yourself, it's a little more difficult to get it straight, but you still can, right? Drive out. Make sure you're forcing that elbow to do the work, okay? So I'm making the back side of my arm really fire here. That's halfway. Okay? Try to get that thing working. Awesome, awesome. Be strong, be strong. Okay, tall. Have that string pulling you up to the ceiling, right? Three, two, one. Good. Transition to fly. Okay, into the flies. Core compress, shoulders down and back. Do your absolute best. Three, through two, the movement. One, fly. Squeeze tight. Butt, belly, bra strap, make sure all three are working, but you can do them individually, right? Squeeze the butt, squeeze the gut, squeeze the bra strap, okay? That's halfway. Then create your movement. Good, tight squeezes, tight squeezes. Your absolute best, your best through it, okay? Your best is where we're gonna create the biggest challenge, and that bigger challenge is gonna create a bigger change, so make sure mm -hmm. You're thinking Two, through it. One. Transition to pull apart. Awesome. Pull apart. Squeezing those shoulder blades down and back as hard as you possibly can. Squeeze, Three. Squeeze, squeeze. Two. One. Pull apart. Awesome. Again, tight, tight squeeze. Doing your absolute best through it. Pressing hard. Get shoulder blades down and back. Good, good, way. good. Awesome. Good, all the way through. I know it's tough. I know it's hard. Three, Try to stay in it. Two, one. Transition to hammer. Curl. Good. All right, hammer curls. Again, thumbs up. We just have this one and then the tricep press and we're done for the day. Okay. Three. Give it your two, all. One. Hammer curls. Okay. Butt, pinch the penny. Gut, get ready to be punched in the stomach. Bra strap, unclip it with the shoulder blades. Here we go. Stay tall, stay tall. Fight for it. Fight for it all the way through. You can do it. That's halfway. Your absolute best. Go, go, go. Squeeze harder. Squeeze harder. Don't stop. Don't stop. Go. Finish through all the way. Three, two, one. Awesome. Transition to tricep press down. All right, Carol. Last one. Let's do it. Okay, really good pushes. Remember, we want a Three, good challenge. Two, one, tricep press down. So if you need to, get a little more resistance. I know you've got the band set up at home. So if you need to, stretch them just a bit more. Make it a little more difficult, get them locked. Or if you're going with less resistance and quicker movements, do that. There's our guy, Mr. College Man. Halfway. Morning. 
Carol's on. Morning, class. <laughs> Morning, Carol. Yeah, this guy, he has to go do important things like school. Yeah. How does we, class don't, this we don't like that around here. Three, two, one. Way to be rock star. Very good. I mean, as you can tell, we very, we very poorly admire education of any kind. We don't want smart people working here. No, I'm kidding. We love it. We love it. It's good stuff. Um, we are excited uh, for Noah because he is learning a lot. So that's really cool. But that means I just get to see you pretty much like every day. So, uh, so much fun there. Carol, awesome work. Way to go. I love pushing through that with you. I'm glad you were here this morning. Remember, do the SMR, right? Do not fail to do some sort of self-massage. That's why we have it set up the way that we do. So anyone else who's joining us, maybe the first time, uh, we put self-massage work before and after our workouts because your body, I say, is like a series of circus tents, right? If we get one rope really tight, it's gonna make the whole circus tent lean. Uh, we want to loosen that muscle tissue and then we want to strengthen the opposite side that was stretched long. Okay, so that's what we're doing between the self-massage, loosen the muscle tissue that makes it lean, but then also strengthen the weak side that was being pulled on. Okay, and almost always our tight lines, the tight lines pulling the shoulder forward, that's your pec. So we need to strengthen the back. Okay, so that's what we're gonna work on. So I want you to see um, how much you get out of that Ex, uh, out of the self myofascial release work. Now, if you need something different than what we provide in class, go to our playlists. We have a full head to toe um, playlist for self massage work. You can pause the video and you know do that technique, and then you can go to the next part of the technique, maybe using a different kind of massage tool. We did that very intentional, so you can just take your time. You don't have to. If it's a five minute video, it should take you longer than five minutes to work through it if that makes sense, okay? Have an absolutely fantastic day. We're gonna jump into the SMR because remember, when you move well, you live well. We'll see you guys later. Oftentimes, I have clients come to me and say that they feel like they have ribs that are out. This is caused by muscles creating undue tension on the ribs and vertebrae. The first muscles to focus on when we do our work is the latissimus dorsi. This muscle originates from the bottom six thoracic vertebrae to the sacrum, then spans past the lower three to four ribs and inserts in the humerus. Start with a foam roller placed on the thoracic spine. You're going to begin by pressing your elbow up to the ceiling and then dropping down to the floor. I like to imagine holding a tray on my elbows that I'm pushing to the ceiling and then relaxing to the floor. Repeat this for seven to 10 repetitions, and then move on to overhead extension. While on the thoracic spine, starting with your palms towards the knees and arms straight, extend the arms overhead, pointing your thumbs towards the floor. To intensify each side, Simply roll over onto one side. Try to relax in the tender points. Complete seven to 10 repetitions with the foam roller in three different parts of the ribs. Now we're going to work the erector spinae and transverso spinalis. These muscles line your vertebrae on both sides. The erector spinae is deep, yet even deeper are the multifidus and semispinalis. The deepest muscles connected to the vertebrae are the rotatories and in the low back, the intertransversarii. Start with two lacrosse balls and place them by the neck. The lacrosse balls should be touching as you begin to roll your body up, forcing the lacrosse balls down your spine. Do this slowly. You should only press further if you can fully tolerate your body pressure on top of the lacrosse balls. It could take anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute before that muscle relaxes. Then you can press with the lacrosse balls down a little bit further. You may need to work gradually through this because your muscle will be so tender you can't tolerate all of your body weight's pressure into the lacrosse balls. 
in order to create a greater release, do not rush this. It should take cumulatively close to 15 minutes to work your way down the entire spine.